Welcome to another exciting Medical Moment webisode. Um, I'm very happy and privileged to have Dr. Robert Bowen featured on, on this webisode. Robert, or Dr. Bowen, is top West Virginia cosmetic surgeon, and that's, that's a pretty big deal. And, and I'm excited about today's topic. Today we're going to be talking about those little blue pills, you know what they are. And we're also going to be talking about gains wave. And, and the focus here is all about what really are the best methods and treatments for erectile dysfunction. So, doctor, thank you for being on the call with me. How are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks a lot. So let's, let's talk about not just erectile dysfunction, which plays a part in, in, in over 50% of you know, the male population. Um, let, let's talk about solutions. So the little blue pills, I won't say you know, they're, they're branded names, but those have been around for a very, very long time. And, and Gaines Wave is, is, is relatively new to, to the, the US shockwave therapy. Um, but it's been around for, what is it, about 15, 16 years overseas. So, I mean, what, what makes these two treatments different? You know, are they some long-term benefits? Are there short-term? Are there any kind of health risks involved with, with it, with either or? I mean, just love to hear. How the PDE5 inhibitor drugs work is that they prevent the breakdown of nitric oxide that's produced. So you have a smaller amount produced, but you're able to keep it uh, in, uh, uh, in the local area for a longer period of time, which helps uh, maintain and, uh, uh, and, br and bring, on the bring on the erection. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, that was a tremendous advance in medicine, and it works uh, quite well for most people. Uh, but what we're doing is uh, we're not fixing the problem. What we're doing at that point, we're not making those blood vessels more healthy so they make more nitric oxide on their own. We're just maximizing the effect of the nitric oxide that we can make. So by using uh, Gaines Wave, uh, what that does is knock some of the microplaque loose from the what's called the endothelium or the inside of the blood vessels. And by doing that, uh, allows better blood flow uh, the, the wall is healthier and able to secrete more nitric oxide and work better on its own. So people that have been on the blue pill uh, will find uh, that they can either decrease their dosage or quite often to replace that uh, after a series of uh, gains wave treatments. Uh, and of course, with any kind of a pharmaceutical product, we have an issue of side effects, mm -hmm. uh, which we don't have with gains wave uh, really the side effects of gains wave are local problems you can be a, uh, a little bit a little the skin can be a little bit pink uh, after the uh, after the procedure from from the minimal friction that you get and that's really uh, the only side effect that you're going to have with a drug that you're ingesting something that you're taking that goes throughout your entire system we're not just uh, boosting the nitric oxide in your uh, in your penis, we're doing it in the other blood vessels too, especially the blood vessels of the lungs. And those little blue pills are often are often used for people that have a problem called um, pulmonary arterial hypertension. That's another uh, good treatment uh, that these drugs are able to do. Um, the problem uh, we were talking about with side effects mm -hmm. is uh, probably the number one side effect is headache. Because it causes vasodilation, including uh, vasodilation or widening of the blood vessels in the head, uh, it's not unusual for people to have headaches. That's 15 or 20 percent of people uh, that take that will get, uh, will get a headache uh, of various severities. Um, so that's a fairly common side effect and stops some people from using it. If it's a, ter if it's a terrible headache, people just aren't going to use it. It's not worth it. Um, Another thing that's inter an interesting, not necessarily a dangerous, but an interesting side effect is that the um, PDE5 uh, inhibitor drugs uh, uh, selectively affect the rod cells in the retina. And with the rod cells uh, affected, they're very sensitive to blue light. So a person's vision 
can become skewed a little bit toward blue. Uh, oh. You'll see a blue tinge to everything, which um, is typically a temporary effect. And after you stop taking the drug, uh, it goes away. Uh, some people that might not bother them. Other people it could drive them crazy. Um, another side effect, which is dangerous, is by using, since it's a blood vessel dilator, uh, using it with other blood vessel dilators like nitroglycerin, uh, mm -hmm. uh, nitroglycerin tablets, uh, nitroglycerin patches that people would use for coronary disease and to treat uh, angina. Uh, combine that with uh, the vasodilation of the PD-5 drugs and you can get a very dangerous drop in blood pressure. Uh, so, uh, so those two uh, can never be combined. And mm -hmm. so somebody that has a heart condition that's on nitrates is not a candidate to have uh, uh, the little blue pill. Yeah, and that, that's something that I found, you know, really interesting because you have these males that have these, these conditions, um, you know, heart, cardiovascular, and may encounter ED, and a lot of them are a lot of times left in the dark because they're like, hey, you know, I can't, I can't take Viagra, or I can't take Cialis because I can't, yeah. you know, what is it that I do? And that's something that I found so interesting about Gainswave is that, you know, it, it is pretty much available for, for everyone, even if you do have those kind of conditions. So doctor, have you ever had patients come in and see you for that very reason? Uh, yeah, most, uh, most certainly. Um, the, uh, so, you know, I, I, I took, I took Viagra and, and it, and it helped, but I ended up in the emergency room and it's like, not a, not a, uh, not a bargain. No, <laughs> not at all. Another type of drugs that you see operated, uh, or, uh, advertised in the, um, uh, in the general media, as opposed to something that's a prescription, uh, are these uh, herbal performance enhancing uh, yeah. uh, preparations that you see. And typically what those are, are uh, herbs that what they purport, purport to do, and some of them work, some of them don't, uh, depending on what they're sourced is, what they do is they increase the amount of testosterone, free testosterone in the blood. Uh, and that can be that can be helpful if a person's testosterone levels are low, uh, but that has, doesn't have a lot of effect on sexual performance. It can have an effect on sexual desire. So if your testosterone levels are very low, uh, you may not be interested in having sex, but it doesn't interfere with the process of having an erection. Mm -hmm. um, so that can, that can certainly play a role and certainly testosterone replacement, either uh, shots or gels or patches. If a person has low testosterone levels, is something that's uh, a, a useful treatment and will have other health benefits not related to erectile function if the levels are low. If there are several issues uh, associated with uh, decreased sexual performance, then we need to address all of them. Uh, or as many as possible, uh, and there are you know psychological issues that are uh, involved too. Uh, maybe trauma from uh, childhood, maybe uh, events that happened uh, in um, uh, in wartime in service to our country. That uh, and so by not addressing those issues, uh, we're not treating the whole patient. And Gaines Wave is a has been a huge help uh, in. Uh, in, ad in addressing these problems in a in a very in a very safe way and a way that uh, is acceptable to the patient and to their partner. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I mean, so just diving a little bit deeper and maybe getting into your specific office and, and, and your team. Let's say you know a patient comes in. You know, wh what's the process? Not just with with gains weight. You know. They, maybe they, they, they say, hey, doc, you know, I'm not feeling as, you know, quote unquote manly, right? Because they don't have as much testosterone as they're used to, or maybe they don't have a level of testosterone and, and, and they don't even know what that might be level that is, is quote unquote natural. I mean, what is, what is the process for them? You know, how does your, your team and yourself, how do y'all 
begin that conversation and, and just build on it to find the right treatment for them. Yeah, so the, so the first thing is the patient's going to do uh, an intake where they're filling out paperwork saying what their concerns are. Uh, there's a questionnaire uh, on, the, uh, uh, on erectile function. There's questions about what medicines they're taking. There are certainly there are, uh, many medications that can have a side effect of uh, affecting uh, orgasmic function or erectile function. And uh, if possible, we might, uh, it might be beneficial to adjust the doses or the or the medications that uh, that, that people are taking for that to improve improve their function. Uh, if it's suspected that their testosterone level is low, and it is low, if for our testosterone testosterone levels peak uh, when we're uh, around 20, and then after that start going down each year. And so by the time people are 40 or 45, they've lost 50 percent of their testosterone levels, which uh, you know, compared to 20, that may be comfortable. You may, you may, <laughs> testosterone is uh, not sky high all the time, but if it falls too low, it, uh, it accelerates the, accelerates uh, development of coronary disease. Uh, it, uh, it decreases uh, energy, uh, muscle mass and bone mass is decreased, uh, all of which have adverse uh, health, health effects not, that are not even related to erectile function. And you know we know that uh, that um, having a high sex drive or having a normal sex drive and having uh, uh, adequate erectile function is something that strengthens relationships and makes families stronger. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we're really talking about. We're not just talking about oh you have more fun with sex. We're talking about issues that are far beyond that. Uh, uh, that, that affects uh, every part of a person's life. And this, um, this branch of our practice, the regenerative medicine that we can do with uh, Gaines Wave and the other therapies um, has been something that's been very, very satisfying for me personally and for all of us that work here. Um, we have uh, on staff, we have a psychiatric social worker and a psychiatric nurse who are used to uh, leading groups and doing uh, counseling. So we uh, offer that if that's, part, if that's part of the patient's issue, we can offer that. So the endocrinology, does a person need testosterone replacement? Do they need medicine? Do they need gains weight? Do they need uh, PRP and, uh, and a P-shot? Um, any of those things we're able to do in different combinations, which has allowed us to treat more different kinds of patients. Everybody from 20 year olds that, uh, or 25 year olds that are uh, uh, just want additional performance to those who are in their 70s, uh, have had prostate surgery, and uh, uh, have been uh, uh, widowed uh, since they were, uh, uh, you know, for 15 years and haven't and haven't had sex or thought about sex since, and now. They want, they want to do something. We've had, six, we've had good luck and good success with these therapies from that entire range. Now, each of those two patients are going to get different treatments, but we can uh, address their issues and, and, and uh, really able to help almost everybody. Yeah, and, and, and that's really, you, you hit the nail on the head. It's, you know, it's, these kinds of, of solutions is, is what I'll call it. it they do. They, they help families just get better. They strengthen those relationships because, I mean, imagine and a lot of times, and this is just something that I, that I hear and that I see online is, you know, if a man has, has, you know, an issue in the bedroom and he can't perform and he hasn't had that conversation with his partner, a lot of times a partner takes that blame and places it on themselves. And, and you know, right. they start to think, you know, is it something that I did? No, am I no longer, are you no longer attracted to me? Um, so it's also about opening up that dialogue. And that's one of the reasons that, that we're creating these webisodes is because we want to open up that conversation. We want to make as many people know that, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty much normal, right? It's, and we uh, advocate uh, having patients, um, uh, 
bring uh, bring their partners uh, to the consult because it's uh, like you said it's not just an issue with a part of the body it's an issue with the uh, with the pa- with the patient's whole environment especially yeah. their family so uh, uh, when when patients are willing to do that we can find that we get a, a better uh, solution uh, as you said uh, if uh, if the interested parties in the family are all uh, on board with the program. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if, if, if I jump back a little bit off topic uh, and we're talking about the younger guys, I mean, this is, I, I, I have, I'm, I'm going to be 30 years old on Tuesday, next Tuesday, but I have a, a group of guy friends as you know, most of us do, right? The guys. And I remember going back to when I was about maybe 24, 25, and, you know, my two best friends, they were the same age. They both had ED issues. And they, because, you know, if you talk about it, you know, it's, it's emasculating and guys can, can bring it up. Like they managed to have that conversation with myself, you know, them two and myself, just to talk about it because, you know, we're 24, we've never dealt with this before. And, you know, they don't know what to do, who to turn to. And they were afraid and they actually did not end up going to see any kind of, you know, doctor for, for support. So just want to open up those channels and let people know that, Hey, you know, there are guys like Dr. Bowen out there and a number of others that, that are here to, to help you. And, you know, they have a whole team of individuals that are there to help you in, in every, you know, in every component, in every category, um, physical as well, mentally is what I meant to say as well, because that can be a, a great component. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. You bet. Yeah. So doctor, we're going to, we're going to wrap it up, but where, tell the people where, where they can find you, anybody that's, that's watching this and, and might want to contact you and your team, how, or what is the best method for them to, to go about doing that? Okay. So our, uh, um, our uh, telephone number is, uh, 304-264-9080. Uh, we're located on the campus of uh, West Virginia, um, uh, uh, University School of Medicine, uh, Berkeley Medical Center campus in the called it's called the Dorothy McCormick Building. Um, we're the uh, office building on the hill uh, next to next to the hospital, um, and that's right off of uh, Exit uh, 14 in uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia, Highway 81, Interstate 81. Um, and so it's uh, uh, a short trip uh, north and south on uh, Highway 81 for people living along that corridor to, uh, to, to come down and visit us. And if you're having a, a problem in, uh, in this area or you just have questions, you can call up and talk to our staff who are all very well versed in the procedure and uh, they can give you some more details. There's information on the website, which is uh, drrobertbowen.com, dr robertbowen.com um, and uh, when you come in for a consult uh, uh, then uh, uh, you and I can uh, talk about what the particular issues are and we can design a tailor-made therapy that will a- address your issues uh, specifically. There we go. Dr. Robert Bowen.com. Dr. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing all this great information and can't wait to talk to you again. All right. Very good. Thank you. Anytime. See you.